guys, my name is Bree. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, and welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I wanted to do something kind of different, I guess. Not, I mean, I don't know. I cooked on my channel before, but I just kind of want to do like a make dinner and chit chat with me. Like, um, by the way, if you like this video, like I know you haven't watched it yet, but if you do end up liking this video, I have a podcast where I kind of do something similar to this. I just get on there and express my opinions and like my views and the way that I feel. And talk about like unlearning toxic social constructs and other limiting beliefs that you may have about yourself and just talking about my life my personal experiences with my spiritual journey and everything like that i do get pretty deep in some things i just recorded an episode last night that i'm going to upload soon here so yeah um make sure you go ahead and tune into that if you are interested in today's video i'm going to be cooking uh salmon i have these two salmon patty type things um that i got from the store and then i got some garlic bread and i think i might make some mixed vegetables with this as well yeah i got pretty much um all of my ingredients oh my god i just literally cut myself with this it's like a freaking cut in my hand anyways so um a few days ago me and my friend were having a conversation about the matrix and actually we started talking about this about like I say two or three weeks ago but like ever since then me and my friends were talking about the matrix i just keep hearing things about it like every time i'm on tiktok or i'm on some social media platform or just anywhere i just keep hearing people talk about the matrix and that's letting me know that this is definitely a real thing and i feel like the fact that i keep hearing about it is the universe trying to give me a sign about something telling me to break out of it more in, in other ways i do believe that in some ways i am still a victim to the matrix um just because of like a lot of subconscious beliefs that i have about myself and this is not just me this goes for pretty much anyone i feel like anybody especially in america has a lot of subconscious beliefs about themselves and what they're capable of and who they are as a person just because of the way that we've been conditioned to do in this society if you're not really catching my drift and you don't know what the matrix is basically the matrix is a system that the government has created to teach human beings how to just work for people and work a nine to five and, and continue to make them money and make them rich and just have us be their workers it goes a little bit deeper than that there's so much that goes into the matrix but it's a lot to explain if you really want to understand more there's so many videos on youtube and articles and things that you can read about there's probably plenty of books on it as well teaching people that you have to get up every day and work a nine to five in order to just make money for yourself instead of just waking up and having food and a house and clothes on your back because you're a person and you're a human being who literally needs that to survive I feel like we shouldn't have to break our backs and kill ourselves and stress ourselves out over money like over anything especially not money just a piece of paper and that's really what it's about it's really just about money and capitalism and people capitalizing off of pretty much anything that they can i mean they literally charge for water like <laughs> i don't i don't know something that literally comes out of the sky so i feel like it's just kind of getting out of hand there's so many people who are in it and and that's mainly because like i said of just the way that we have been conditioned to do as a society it's normal to be taught especially by your parents because they may not know anything different but it's normal to be taught that in order for you to succeed and have a nice life be successful and have money and do the things that you want in this world that you have to do things like go to college and have some type of fancy ass degree or get a job and work unrealistic work week hours just to be able to just get by for yourself we're literally just taught that that's life and that's okay like oh yeah it's okay that i work 40 hours a week five days a week and i only have two days off to myself and i can still barely afford to pay my bills no that should not be okay that should not be normal it's definitely possible to just make money while you sleep i mean of course it's going to take some time to get there but you don't have to get up and go to a job that you hate every day just to make money. You can find something that you really like to do and make something out of it. It's just that a lot of people don't believe in themselves and their fear of looking stupid is holding them back. That's the sound that I've been hearing on TikTok also a lot lately. Your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. And it's been really like, you know, getting to me lately. Like, that is definitely true. I do have a lot of things that I want to do in my life but a lot of times I just don't do them because of certain fears that I have like well what if it doesn't go like this or what if this happens or what if that happens and one thing that I really know that I'm going to have to learn is that one I'm like what I just turned 19 like three days ago for one so I have plenty of time to do what I need to do like I don't have to rush to do all of these things or to do anything in my life I have time okay I'm going to rinse this salmon off okay. 
And that's why I want to do YouTube. That's why I like doing content creation. That's why I like doing TikTok. That's why I want to be an actress. Because I want to take something that I genuinely love and make money off of that. I don't want to just wake up and, you know, go to my 9 to 5 every day. If I'm going to be working my ass off that hard for something, it's going to be for something that I genuinely love doing and that I gen genuinely want to do. And that's going to be benefiting me in some type of way. Me building up somebody else's company is not helping me in any type of way. I mean, yeah, maybe it'll give me, you know, money for the time being, but honestly, I just don't feel like there's a lot of jobs in this economy that pay enough for a decent lifestyle. Like, even me, the job that I used to have before I quit, I was making like $16 an hour, and they told me that even if I worked full time with that pay salary, that I still wouldn't make enough to qualify for this apartment that I wanted. And the apartment is already, okay, let's just talk about that too. Apartments are outrageously fucking expensive for no reason. Why do I have to make three times $900? Why do I have to make $2,700 a month? Who makes that much money? Who? No one makes that much money. I swear to God, like, I mean, you know, some people do, but people who are making that much money a month don't live in apartments. I'm telling you that right now. They live in a house or something like that. Seasonings, let me get those. Okay, so I'm gonna season my uh, salmon with this Creole seasoning, this onion salt, and this garlic salt. So yeah. Yeah, I just feel like things are just ridiculously expensive in this economy and why? Why is it so expensive to put a roof over my head, a, a decent looking roof over my head? Why do I have to break my back to do that? Like, why can't I just have that because I'm a person that needs shelter? Like, <laughs> why do we have to capitalize off of everything? Why do... We have to pay for everything, pay for the basic necessities that a human being needs to survive. Those are just things that I don't understand and I would never understand about society. Things like credit scores, don't even get me started. Don't even get me fucking started on credit scores. I just feel like they're just so irrelevant. Like, just literally just used to make life more difficult. Like, that's, I swear to God, that's it. It's just to make life more difficult for people. But my way of coping with, like, all of that is really, I've just been trying to get out of the matrix meaning that I had been unlearning a lot of the things that I was taught to believe about society and about money and about different things. Like, I'm teaching myself to not believe that money is strict or that it's hard to come across because when you have those belief systems around money, I feel like I want to put this up to myself because <laughs> I'm really spitting facts right now. When you have those negative and limiting beliefs around money, it makes it to where those are the type of things that attract to you. If you believe that money is scarce and that it's hard to come across and that it's not easy to find money, then that's what it'll feel like for you all of the time. The law of attraction states, which by the way is an actual law that has been proven by many known scientists. The law of attraction literally states that whatever your energy matches that is what the universe must match it with. So if your energy is matching with a vibration that is low and is anxious and thinking that money is scarce and that it's hard to come across and that you could never be a millionaire and thinking I, I could never have this, I could never have that, then that is the type of energy that will attract to you. If you raise your vibrations to believe things positive about yourself, like I can be a millionaire or I am a millionaire, I'm capable of having this money, I deserve to have this money, I deserve to have this lifestyle, I know I can get to this lifestyle and you're actually making progress every day to get to that lifestyle and eventually the universe will have no choice but to attract that to you because that's literally how the law of attraction works you attract what you are which is why a lot of people attract the same type of dudes or the same type of girls if you seem to attract guys that are always emotionally unavailable or abusive or inconsistent or other ways like that it's probably because you subconsciously believe that you deserve that the type of energy that you emit out is what you get back. So in order to change your life and to make it to where you are attracting the type of things that you want, you need to one, start with changing the beliefs about yourself. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that you deserve somebody to treat you wrong and to abuse you and to neglect you and to be emotionally unavailable? Or do you believe that you deserve something better? Because if you believe that you deserve something better, you wouldn't have that in your life, especially repetitively. That's just been something that I have been doing in my life for, I say, the past maybe like nine, ten months. I'm about, I'm about like what? I say about a year, a year, maybe 11 months deep into my spiritual journey. I've learned so much through these past months and I honestly am so grateful for everything that I've learned and every experience that I've experienced, good and bad. Even the bad things have taught me something and I still walked away with something even though it may have not 
may not have felt great in that moment i've learned to just take lessons i don't take l's okay i take lessons and i learn that's what i do if something bad doesn't or something bad happens or something doesn't go my way or doesn't work in my favor i don't view it as an l i view it as a lesson next time i know what not to do or what to do and that's just how i see it um i don't remember which one i put on here so i'm just gonna do this one and honestly, these are really the type of videos that I want to make on my page at, or on my account. I really want to talk about things like this and spread information to people because I know that me having this knowledge at such a young age is definitely a gift that was given to me by the universe. And I feel like it was given to me at such a young age because I meant to use that. I meant to influence other people and to help other people change their lives for the better. And that's what I really want to do. And that's why I love content creation because that's what I really want to do. I want to inspire people and help people learn to live more, I don't know, more peacefully and happily and swiftly and less anxiously. Oh my God, I used to have such bad anxiety before I became like spiritual. And I'm not gonna lie, like it didn't just go away within the blink of an eye. It definitely took some time and unlearning, but really just realizations that I had and like epiphany moments like, where I realized that there's nothing wrong with me and that there's no reason for me to be so conscious all the time and so anxious all the time about things and stupid shit. It, I feel like it's really mainly just you that just thinks those things. Like people who have anxiety, it's just you, okay? No one else is really thinking that about you. No one thinks you're weird. It's, probably, it's just you. <laughs> like those are your own insecurities talking to you and you really have to go within and heal those things in order for you to be able to move on from that. Let's go ahead and cook this salmon, put it on the stove. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I've sat up here and made so many of these videos where I talk about stuff like this, but I just never uploaded them because I felt like every time that I made these videos, I wasn't exactly relaying the message that I wanted to relay, and I just felt like I could have worded things a lot differently, and my sentences weren't like flowing as much, but this time around, I think I did pretty well. Um, I might actually upload this. And then sometimes I get scared because I feel like, what if nobody wants to hear about this, but I don't know, I feel like there's someone out there that wants to hear about this, like, this, this, the world is a really big place, YouTube isn't just exclusive to America, like, there's places all around the world that my videos can reach, so I know there has to be at least one person out there that wants this information. Let me know, let me know if you guys like these type of videos, though, because these are the actual videos that I'd like to make on my channel, just talking about some really deep shit and unlearning things and things that have been working for me and helping me. Just adding a little bit more seasoning just because I feel like it needs it. While that's preparing, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start making these mixed vegetables. Okay, these aren't steamable. Uh, all right, well, I guess I won't be making mixed vegetables today unless I wanna make some corn. Fun fact about me, I really fucking love corn. Like, I really do. It's like my favorite vegetable, so I can eat it with anything. But it is weird to eat, like, just salmon and corn and garlic bread. But I don't give a fuck. That shit about to slap. And I think I'm going to smoke so I can get high and it'll be better. Like, that'll just make it make everything better. Speaking of things that have just happened recently in my life, um, I don't know. I just kind of want to get more personal with my channel. I want to talk about more things in my life. I don't want to reveal everything because, of course, there are some things that I do want to keep private. But I do want to start talking about a little bit more about myself. I feel like I kind of just get on here and just do my thing and don't really connect with you guys or like share anything about myself with you guys that much. So um, yeah, basically I'm kind of going through a breakup. I mean like not a breakup, like I don't know. It wasn't like a serious relationship or anything. It was just kind of like we were exclusive to each other obviously. And I liked him, he liked me. It wasn't a situation of like cheating or anything like that. It was just, you know, we both have different paths that we want to take in our lives and we both need to do a little bit more healing before trying to commit to somebody else. Um, and that's pretty much why the relationship ended. But anyways, I, I'm taking it pretty well. Like before I got into spirituality and things like that, I would take breakups so bad. I'd be really sad and uh, upset about it. But now that I'm learning to be more whole and content with myself, it really has been helping me a lot with like dealing with getting over people because this is not the first person that I've had to get over um, since my spiritual journey. Um, I don't know I just I feel like I've been taking it really good like I haven't of course I'm I do like him and I still you know miss him sometimes but it's never like 
Oh my god, I feel like I can't live without this person or I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know that I don't need anybody but myself to be happy and that's something that I've really been learning especially this past year 2022 is to be okay with myself be whole with myself to learn that I don't need anyone else to complete me or to make me feel good about myself I feel that way about myself by myself and I feel like that's something that you need to reach by yourself before trying to commit to somebody else you need to learn to love yourself before you learn to love anybody else and they are so right when they say that because if you don't, it'll just make the relationship a lot more difficult and intense. And it'll probably be a lot of arguing and pain and hurting each other involved. And that's just never fun. So love yourself before you love someone else. But I'd say that's definitely one way to master the art of detachment or just master detaching from not just people, but situations, maybe something that pisses you off or makes you upset. It's to just realize that one, everything that happens to you happens for the benefit of you, whether you realize it or not. The universe does things for you because it's trying to teach you something or to have you experience something so that way when they give you something else, you'll learn to appreciate it more or you'll have certain knowledge or certain skills that you learned from other obstacles before getting what it is that you wanted in order to help you succeed when you do get what it is that you want, if that makes any sense to you guys. I view life as happening for me and not as happening to me. I know that any obstacle that is thrown my way is for a reason and it is meant to teach me something and I'm meant to learn and grow from it and I know that obstacles and challenges are thrown at you to help you evolve into the person that it is that you want to become. When you believe things like that about your life and about yourself it definitely helps you switch the narrative in your life and switch the perspective and it just really shifts your entire life because you start to become more aware of opportunities and aware of just life as a whole. And it makes it makes it a little bit easier for you to navigate through life instead of being like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? You're thinking, okay, I understand I meant to learn something from this. That's why it's happening to me. Not blaming yourself or feeling like there's something wrong with you or feeling like it's your fault or feeling like anything like that which used to be me, but I had to unlearn that. <laughs> Definitely has been a journey, but I'm very, very, very grateful for it. And I'm so appreciative of all the knowledge that I had, especially for someone at the age that I am, because a lot of people around my age do not have the knowledge that I have. Not even in a cocky way. I don't mean in a cocky way. I just, I'm grateful to have the knowledge. I'm grateful to have a parent who was able to teach me about these things early on. And a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people, parents are also in the matrix and they don't know about those things. So they can't tell their kids, hey, this is what's going on because they don't know what's going on and that's why I want to share this knowledge with you guys because I know that not everybody has someone to teach them about these things but we should we should have this this knowledge accessible to us it should be taught to us in school but you know the school system is not meant for that the school system is literally a part of the matrix so don't even get me started on that New Year's. It's a new year. This is the first video that I've uploaded of a new year. Wow, I just realized that. I'm sorry. Also, I just I want to be more consistent on YouTube. It's just that I want I'm trying to really find the content that I really want to make and what I really want to do on the channel and the messages that I really want to spread on this channel. I'm just still cultivating that. I'm, I don't know. It's kind of like in review and I'm just trying to figure some things out right now. But I do love YouTube and I'm never going to stop doing it. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to stop uploading. <laughs> I'm never going to stop. Another thing that I've just never really understood is that why the people have to wait until the new year to start over. Every day is a new day. You get a new chance every day. You get to start over every day. Every day you wake up, it's a new day. You can start over then. You don't have to wait for the new year to come to start over. But I don't know how to make this plate look fancy. Like I don't, I don't know. Just know that there's some salmon, some bread, and some corn on here. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about when I stopped talking, but just know that I was spitting some facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we really got him with this one. But it's good with the onions, though. Adds more flavor. I hope everybody learned something from this video and took something out of it. Um, like I said, I'm here to help people and inspire people. That's what I feel like my purpose here as a creator is to do so good if you enjoyed this video please make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you're notified every time i upload a new video also make sure you check out my podcast if you like this video because like i said i do talk about similar topics 
like the ones that I just discussed in this video on my podcast all the time and I do have new episodes that I am going to be uploading very soon so make sure you tune into that also make sure to follow me on all my social medias the links are in the description and I hope to see you in the next video that I post